That's all hands. All pictures of hands. That's very interesting. Cool. Nude. It says full nude, but ah. the hunter is kind of over the top of it. Well, that works. Oh, you did sign your name. That's one of my paintings. I don't sign uh, the ones I do with Jules. Well, I sign you should, if you put your her name on there too. Maybe she could sign your name. Uh, <laughs> I'll bring that up to her. <laughs> <laughs> I, that, yeah, she'd be like, no. Uh, where's my other hand? It's on the wall right here. Is that one? Oh, duh. <laughs> keep walking past it. <laughs> Maybe you should be wearing sunglasses inside. <laughs> These are my regular ones. But I sat on my good, my ones that aren't tinted, so. Oh, I like the color though. I do too. I figure if I'm going to show you a magnified view of the bags under my eyes, let's just throw a pretty <laughs> color over it. You know what I mean? Dress That's it up a little. That's the way mine looked too. I'm like, geez, my eyes are big. <laughs> Dress it up a little. Sweet. So what you got going on here? That was just, uh, I, I think the first one was the one with the skull on it. Yeah. And it was a rehash of something that Jules and I did, and it had a lot of newspaper that we collaged on the background. And it was a real pain in the ass to tape anything off because it would constantly pull up and it was just a mess. But so this one, I did it clean, and, uh, you know, I just wanted to just. Sometimes I have to do it a couple times before I feel like I get it right. Yeah, I hear you. A lot of artists do that. They'll, you know, do, takes a, they'll do two of the same image. Or I, you know, just, I've done it just for practice. Yeah, to help to flesh out the idea, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes I look at it and go, oh, that would be good. But then, you know, you don't want to keep painting over and over and over on the same painting. So sometimes you just kind of go, okay, well, let's just try this again. I, li I like the older one, or the original, as well, I mean... That's your favorite one out of the two? Well, I like the rawness of it, right. you know, the, new, the newer version d definitely directs you to an age, you know, where maybe the cars were coming more modern, more people were able to have them, um, people were going out to Vegas, holy rolling it, you know, yeah. joining in the army, and that... playing be volley beach bingo. <laughs> And it, it, it is, it's just like that, it, it's a little slicker than the original one yeah. because I was like, okay, well, I mean, I had that to go by. Yeah. So I was like, okay, this is good, but how can I really put a little polish on it? Yeah. Yeah. I like the fact that you doled out the, the circles. Mm -hmm. You kept them, but you doled them back a little bit. Mm -hmm. I paint on wood. Oh, cool. So, I was going to actually ask you that question. Yeah, that's why I, I sand them and scratch into them, and you can really beat on them and screw, you know, get all kinds of effects. Do you shellac them afterwards, or is this how they stay? Uh, no, I varnish them varnish. afterwards. And I use shellac a little, which is weird you say that, because nobody even knows about shellac. It's such an old product. <laughs> I always joke, I'm bringing shellac back. <laughs> you know, in the 50s and 60s, everybody used it. Um, but it's sort of, I don't know, it's kind of a little toxic, so I think it probably fell out of favor. Hmm. But the amber shellac just instantly gives it that aged vibe, you know, it kind of, I call it the pirate map effect, where I just sort of, you know, if you look at my paintings, I sort of darken the edges. Yeah, I do, I can see that. All of them. Pirate map effect. Pirate map effect. Tarzan. <laughs> the morphation. Morphing of it all. See, you got a little modern little birdie in there. Mm -hmm. The confidence came off a Girl Scout cookie box. It said, helping young girls develop skills and build confidence and it said confidence that looked just like that. I was like, oh, that's fucking sweet and very American. That is sweet and very American. I like it. 
So, is there one word that you could describe your art as, or one of your favorite words to describe you? I try to make them uh, dynamic. It's like, uh, you know, I think I grew up looking at some of the pop artists, you know, just growing up in the 70s, that was what was hot. And I, their whole notion of taking the everyday and sort of glorifying it, mm -hmm. you know, Warhol, the soup cans and all that. Mm -hmm. And so I always sort of wanted to tell stories that inspired people to live more dynamic lives. I mean, you know, if you're waking up, drinking your coffee, pulling your shoes on, and you're looking at drive with confidence, then you go out there and be a baller. <laughs> I mean, <coughs> second place just means you're the first loser, man, you know. This is true. Uh -huh. I like it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Are you, are you ready to... Sign in. I want to say thank you so much for inter allowing me to chit chat and interview with you today on such short notice. I just really plan on coming in and meeting you. So this was a real treat. Good. A real well, treat. I I'll read your you questions, can... and then yeah. uh, we can do a, maybe more, you know, something a little more flowy. Yeah, a little more formal, a little less. Uh... Yeah, I didn't think this would be it. I love it, though. This is perfect. I wish I had this studio. <laughs> bye. Say bye. <laughs> Thank you.